Good morning. For TradeX Exclusive, this is George Kachuk for RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Well, here we are at the end of July. What I'd like to do is talk about the equity markets. And more specifically, we'd like what we want to take a look at is trying to understand these markets because there's a lot of volatility going on now. So let's just take a step back and talk about what we have. Well, we take a long-term view, take a look at the monthly charts. We have all the indexes, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones trading above the 12-month exponential moving average on a monthly chart. That's an important thing because as long as markets are above that 12-month exponential moving average, pretty much the uptrend continues. Now, if we look at the, sort of on a daily or weekly basis, we still have the Dow trading above 25,000, the S&P 500 trading above the 2,800 level, so those are all positives. Now, the NASDAQ gave up that 7,800 level. That was right where it was nearing new highs. It was leading uh, all the other indexes. And the NASDAQ today did come down to its 50-day moving average. However, it bounced off there, and it's still uh, well above the March highs of about 76.34. So the NASDAQ's right now right about 76.60. So that's a good thing. Now, we're in earnings weeks. Earnings are coming in very good. Uh, top line sort of coming in at about 20% increase. Uh, however, what we're seeing is a lot of kind of bad reactions to these very positive earnings numbers, and a lot of the leading stocks are sort of not able to hold their closing highs after those earning releases. Now, Google did pretty well. Amazon did pretty well. It's still hovering around those levels, but you saw stocks like Facebook pretty much implode, Netflix implode. So we have a mixed bag. And other leading stocks like NVIDIA is hanging in there pretty good. Microsoft's doing pretty good. Apple's doing pretty good. So we have a mixed bag. And that's something to keep in the back of your mind here is like uh, there might be a switch in leadership or also you get a little concerned if too many leaders start falling by the wayside because eventually they can drag down the rest of the market. Now, last, last week we talked about uh, the yield curve probably is going to improve and how banks were beaten up. And sure enough, through the whole week, banks have been doing very well. And specifically, it's talking about like uh, Bank of America, symbol BAC, JP Morgan, symbol JPM, Comerica, symbol CMA, Regions Financial, uh, symbol RF. So uh, some of these banks are some you might want to take a look at. None of these are buy recommendations. They're just something to keep in mind. Now, also, when you see stocks getting hit, a lot of uh, sort of glamour internet stocks are, you know, had good earnings report, but they're unable to hold that big volume gap up. Like stocks like Grubhub, you know, got hit. So, you, or Altesian, symbol T-E-A-M. But however, you do want to take a look at which stocks are holding up well. And one stock comes specifically to mind. Now, again, this isn't a buy recommendation. Consult your financial advisor. Is Advanced Micro Devices, that symbol is AMD. After earnings, gapped up, had a big move, closed on the highs. Friday, another big, strong move. Just came back and touched that uh, earnings day close, high volume close, and continued higher. And this morning, it's doing well again. So you want to take a look, this is just an example, but you do want to take a look at stocks like these when we're going through earnings season uh, and sort of shift your focus to the stocks that are showing good relative strength. And that's, again, we see the banks or an outlier like AMD when the rest of the tech sector is getting hit. So as always, our price and volume, be your guide. Just keep your eye on the indexes. Uh, keep an eye on leading stocks. Then keep an eye on which stocks are doing better in this market. So, as always, at Price and Volume Beer Guide, this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Have a great trading week.